reports. There weren't as many as had been threatened, but the ones who did come tried their best to make themselves heard. Among them, environmentalists, community leaders, and bankrupt American fishermen. We want some some type of uh, a commitment to say, look, we're going to look into this. We're going to take care of it. I mean, we all we hear, we didn't pay it three point four billion or four billion dollars. Where is the money? This is to the executives of BP. It's the Black Planet Award because this is the only thing they really understand. Security was tight. Only those invited were going to get inside. Not all BP shareholders are profit-minded investors. We have livelihoods that are still impacted. We still have oil uh, coating the bottom of the ocean. We still have dispersant coating the bottom of the ocean. What we don't have at the bottom of the ocean is the life that is supposed to be there. Antonia Juhas was also carrying a message from the father of an oil worker killed in the deep water explosion. And his son was 28 years old, and he asked me to read a brief statement I will that have, he submitted. No, I will have to, I will have his to, um, son I will have to ask died you. aboard the rig, but you don't um, want to hear that voice of Antonia, why he, his I think concerns that he was unable to bring. Antonia, May I, I read a paragraph from the father of a son who died aboard the Deepwater Horizon? Yes, we did. Thank you. So, you had to make more money faster. More money faster. And if that put those who were on the rig at risk, well, sometimes one has to take a few chances, right? After all, none of you were on that rig. You weren't rolling the dice with the lives of your sons or daughters, but you were rolling the dice with my son's life and you lost. But BP's new chief executive, Bob Dudley, wasn't prepared to leave the campaigner unchallenged. Well, I think, Antonio, you, you, many of your statements sounded like they were represented for a plaintiff attorney because I, I have differences of many of the comments that you made, but we certainly are deeply impacted. <laughs> deeply impacted by the 11 men who died. Miss Jew has told me afterwards that despite BP's promises, they were still not listening. In this meeting, the only things that we heard from the chairman of the board and from the board of directors was that they had not learned the lessons of the Deepwater Horizon. Rather, they were moving more aggressively into deep water. One year on, and the anger has barely diminished. I'm breaching the peace. Oh, yeah. I'm breaching the peace here. It will reignite when the anniversary is marked and devastated Gulf communities remember what they lost. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, at London's Excel Centre. Military police in